the day I was born, I was shy. With sky blue tears, I cry. When you asked why, but if I knew, I wouldn't be here, would I? You and your friends talk with closed lips about that mousy girl with lips that were zipped and treated her like a freak. Mm. But no one ever took the time to find out who I really am. Because I'm not shy, I scoff at the word. Like that black cat I am, I'm still a little curious. And just because I don't speak, it doesn't mean my words don't count. They count just as much as yours does. You don't know me, nor do you want to. But I'll tell you a little bit about what you're missing. I like trouble with the capital T, because I love the excitement I get in my chest. Besides, rules are just opinions of paranoid people. I like writing because the only place that'll listen to what I have to say and accept me is a blank sheet of paper with 25 thin blue lines that remind me of those girls in seventh grade that starve themselves. I like head banging, fist pumping, heart racing rock music that truly with explicit words and it means I barely understand and not by any lack of innocence. And I love singing as much as I love life. Because when I sing, it feels like the whole world is listening with ignorant open ears, my favorite oxymoron. And I love food, and even though you can't tell by my size two jeans, I eat like a paradox and never seems to add up when I up the cupcake to down my spirits. My speech just seems to seduce me, and it gets me every time. And time is just an illusion. But I can't seem to get my illusion straight because I'm always late, never fails. On Friday, I walk in on the bell. And I like to think that I'm pretty funny. I mean, I may not be Kevin Hart, but I'm still three feet taller than him in my running shoes. And <laughs> <laughs> I that library books all have duels as long as your arms and legs and high heel shoes. And I'm pretty sure those are tapped off. Psych Saturday is the only day I watch TV because everything else that's on is on a weekday. And I have stuff to do, man. And not homework because, I mean, who does that? I've got books online and people to chat with. And I like to please people, but I'm not a people pleaser because I'm my whole self. And I won't change for you to like me. See, my personality makes its own friends. I'm not shy. I'm perceptive. While you and so-and-so are he said, she said, I read all of your emotions, timed every tear, and grinned ear to ear because eavesdropping is easy for someone who's always quiet. Who can hear when you're speaking? The friends I do have love me for me. For those few unspoken words I do leave unsaid and for my strange personality. And they don't care that I'm not loud because my silence is louder than my words. My awkwardness is apparent and it makes me unique. And if being different is a crime, I ask for a stay of execution. You don't know me, nor do you want to. I'm just that foreign voice that speaks unspoken words that don't count in your book. So I'll once again just shy away with a submissive grace because I'm not at your pace. But I guess 50% is my fault too because I don't know you, nor do I want to. Yeah!